<laughs> Nicholas Cage, why do you take his face off? I don't know. Let's go and see. Set Nicholas Cage free! Greetings, puny Earth humans. Tis I, the Lone Space Mountain Man, coming to you with a weekly verbal communication via the internet. Do not forget to like and subscribe. Like and subscribe post haste. Captain's Vlog number 555 Plastic Surgery. Face off today my postulation is about face off what does face off mean oh <laughs> what did nicholas cage do when they took his face off <laughs> oh think about it he, he took his face off over and over and over again like an onion he literally took his face off like layers of an onion. Now the layers literally never end, nor does Nicolas Cage's face. It's an eternal face. When one flips off, another one grows in its stead. It's like shark teeth. Nicolas Cage, face off. He's all over your TVs, all over your pillows and hoodies. It's, it's the Nicolas Cage paraphernalia. He's, he's caged inside your paraphernalia. It's like you took Nicolas Cage and caged him up. You caged up Nicolas, even inside a banana. He's a merman banana. <laughs> Another chimera, a Nicolas Cage banana. A merman banana, it's weird, but it's true. It's a chimera. Then you stuffed him full of sequins. You hide him, you cage him up in a pillow and pretend like he's not even there. And then voila, you rub the sequins aside and reveal that he's been hiding in your couch the whole time. You puny earthlings, you put two hands on him and cage him up in a clock. He's just forced to tell you the time all day long. Philosophical question. If you're not home, does the Nicolas Cage clock still tell you the time? Think about it. Oh. Nicholas, are you in there? Are you still telling time? Nicholas Cage, face off. You carry him around in your purse. He's the friend that never gives you room to breathe. Is he smothering you? Are you smothering him? Someday, Nicolas Cage is going to say, it's not you, it's me, and walk straight out of your purse. And it's gonna be freaky deaky when that happens. You put his face on top of your face and stick it over your mouth. It's called a mask, a Nicolas Cage mask. You were all aware he does not have a beard, right? N-I-C-O-L-A-S, C-A-G-E. Nicolas Cage does not have a beard, period. End of story, that's it, no beard, no face. I don't know. He has a face, but he has a, no beard. It's not a beard off, it's a face off. Oh, I'm sick of having this discussion. Maybe if he had a beard, you wouldn't be able to take his face off because beards are innately powerful and strong and they can make a Nicolas Cage even stronger. Do not doubt me. Cage Nicholas? well, I say set him free. Set him free. Set Nicolas Cage free. Cage free Nicolas Cage. He should, he, he should start producing eggs. He could call them Nicolas Cage free Set eggs. Nicolas Cage they would free. be very popular at your local grocery store. Think about it. Look, look, just look at all the stuff you've done to him.
just because he made a movie about taking his face off, you just went and took his face off! Oh, and have you even bothered to wonder if it really is even his real face? He was in a coma. You didn't give him informed consent, and he did not sign a waiver agreeing to become a purse, or a pillow, or a couch cushion, or a t-shirt. Oh, just let the Nicolas Cage free. Face off, face off, face off. I'll say it again. Today, my postulation is about face off. Set what if Nicolas Cage, Cage actually took his face off? I'm not talking movie magic, I'm talking science, both theoretical and metaphysical. S-C-I-E-N-C-E, -E -E, or science. Science! What does it all even mean? Well, I will tell you. <laughs> there is a method to this madness. The Nicolas Cage Cthulhu Syndrome. You know a little movie called Face Off, where a little Nicolas Cage and a John Travolta are battling out over bombs and prisons and right and wrong and all that kind of such nonsense. Well, the moral of the story is they take his face off. Have you ever thought about what it means to take off your face? They take it off. They take it right off. Like it's a t-shirt. <laughs> they take it off like a t-shirt. And they do this and they put his face on the shirt. Mind blown. <laughs> what Set if? Nicholas what Cage if? Free. What if? What if? The, uh, what if it's his real face? Every time they put his face on a pillow, are they taking part of his actual face off? I propose so. Think about it. Are you are you sleeping right now with a pillow of Nicolas Cage? Did you ever stop to think that it is Nicolas Cage's real face on that pillow? Hmm? <laughs> As you rub the sequins, are you actually rubbing his actual face? Oh, think about it. Does it hurt? Can he still feel his face? Set Can Nicolas you still Cage feel free. your face when your face is off? If your face is off and you are a thousand miles away and someone else touches your face, can you feel it? Seriously, yes. The answer is yes. You put his face on a pillow, but you didn't put his vocal cords on the pillow too. So he can't even tell you that he does not appreciate what you're doing to his face. You're shoving your hands all over it, all day long rubbing his face. He does not appreciate it, and he can't talk because he's a face pillow. Oh, and you're, all you're trying to do is prove to them that you're cool and in tune with all the latest fads and trends. I know you all want a Nicolas Cage pillow, but did you ever stop to think that maybe he does not want to be your Cage pillow? Free. It is Nicolas Cage's real face, and you treat it like it's a soft, plush, decorative house cushion. He's like, no, stop rubbing my face, but not really because he doesn't have vocal cords. He's screaming, just look at his face. Inside the emotion, his eyes, you can see into his soul. Oh, poor Nicolas Cage. Set him free. And while you're at it, like and subscribe and visit my Patreon. We're doing the good work here. <sighs> Maybe all he really wants to say is, you don't know me. If you put the pillow in front of your face and then your face becomes Nicolas Cage's face, did you just remove your face? Did you face off yourself? Do you think free. when Nicolas Cage took his face off, he ever thought in a million years he would end up on a banana? Do you think he wanted to become a banana man? A banana chimera? It's, it's an affront to nature. 
A banana man is not an ultimate chimera. It's too squishy. It never make it through a fight with a rabid raccoon. It's super lame. It's the it's the bottom of the totem pole of human chimeras. The raccoon would simply eat the banana. And then Nicolas Cage would be back to just face off. A face that Set never Nicolas stops being a face. How many times can you say face off? Face off! Have you ever wondered if it's really John Travolta? I mean, if they can face off once, they can face off again and again. It's predictive programming to tell you about the future of face removal surgery. Just what do you think Google Glasses are for? They, they were to take pictures of other faces so free. everyone could face off. The aliens come into your bedroom at night with their fancy technology and they off your face and face off another face. No one can really say for certain who the real Nicolas Cage is anymore. It could be you, for all you know. <laughs> or perhaps the real Nicolas Cage is the pillow on your couch. <laughs> Maybe they also transported his consciousness to that pillow. Set Instead Nicolas of face Cage off, free. it's consciousness off. I mean, how much did you pay for that fancy pillow? Did you ever think, huh, that's a lot of money to pay for a pillow with Nicolas Cage's face on it? But I mean, it is Nicolas Cage's face, so I'll spend the money. I will shell out the box. I'll spend all my Uranus bits to purchase this Nicolas Cage pillow. It's weird. Like and subscribe for more postulations and face off.